All right. Well, here we go. First things first. I'm playing on Hardcore Solo Cellfound on Ultimatum League. Solo Cellfound means I can't trade with other players, and Hardcore meaning if I die, my character is pretty much deleted. Second, the build. I'm going to be going for a Poison Bladefall Blade Blast Assassin. I will Bladefall to put blades on the ground and Blade Blast for damage. I'm using Zizarin's build guide for this. I'm coming back from not having played Path of Exile for quite a while, and Zizarin's video and path of building makes it really easy to progress through a build. He added features like skill trees for certain skill milestones, item sets for different points in the game, and how to progress through skill gems. It just makes it really simple to play a build, and I'm fairly confident I'll be able to do pretty good damage with this build. It has been quite a while since I've last played, so I may run into some issues at some points, but hopefully it won't happen too early. Now, by the guide's recommendations, I'm going to quickly make another character to get me a bow and some gems. I think one thing that's quite important to note about the build I'm about to do is that it is listed as being quite good in softcore. I hope that won't be too much of an issue. Are those good? This might be the end of me. I'll take the reward here. League mechanics are usually not worth doing when leveling, but I'm not sure if ultimatum is rewarding enough and not too dangerous. It might be worth doing, especially as a first character. What? I don't remember getting hit that hard before. Oh my goodness. And finally, a movement skill. This should make things much nicer. Okay, I, I'm taking quite a lot of damage, and I don't have very good flasks. I should have logged out there. This is highlighted. Okay, I need to be very careful here. Probably a bit more careful than that. Oh! Wait, I can vendor the iron ring. Oh, I actually need to get back there now. Now I understand why the Iron Ring was highlighted because I can take this and I don't have any skill gems but I can buy one for a scroll of wisdom and then vendor it for a sapphire ring which I really need Goodbye. for the boss <sighs> what? what oh my goodness I really am not tanky. <sighs> okay, I'm good. I was really scared there for a moment. Oh, 
Alright, well this fight shouldn't be very difficult with max lightning res. And there we go. Well, that was probably the scary part. I'm gonna play support although. <laughs> I don't have bleed immunity. Well, okay. That's quite important. I'm gonna bring my small flask. Okay, wasn't too bad. That boss fight was definitely much easier than I thought. I thought I'd be in much more danger. Toxic Rain is much better than I thought. Should be a quick fight. wasn't too bad. Oh boy, the piety fight. I forgot completely about that. Ah, uh, the piety fight's gonna be really scary actually. I don't know if they toned it down or maybe even made it worse, but I remember it being very scary. Alright, the piety fight. Well, I'm just about ready for it. I think your autos are really scary. I. Oh. <sighs> okay. Her autos are quite scary. I'm gonna have to run back through all of that. It's not great. Well, I... Okay, I'm glad I didn't enter. I need to not get meleeed. All of these ground explosions are really scary too. No melee, no melee. No, where is she aiming? Okay. Okay. I don't know if that makes me confident for the Malachi fight. I, I mean, to be fair, I think the Malachi fight is actually easier than that but oh boy I'm working with
it is just about time to do lab. Now that I have my main skill, it shouldn't be too hard. Those are the first two ascendant points that I'm going to be using. Okay, this build is doing a lot of damage. Okay. Well, that wasn't too bad. Night's madness strains away all hope. Just need a moment to catch my breath. Oh my. It has been a while. Wait. Ah. Uh, well, I'm still alive. The issue there was I was too far away from the boss to really see the moves. Even though. I still could have, but it wasn't as easy as it could have been. I don't know how long this character is going to last. Okay. I might just do so much damage that it doesn't really matter. There won't be many chances for me to get one shot. Okay, that's bad. Okay, that was actually very clutch movement. <laughs> it was a bit close, but Luckily not too close. I just deal so much damage, I don't need to do much actual bossing. I think that's the end of the fight. Yes, okay. It was definitely a bit closer than it, it should have been. I, uh, I don't think I was really in danger when I was on the wrong area for the swipe. Maybe I could have gotten critted out, but... I think I was fine. Alright. I forgot that the slams go out. Well, I'm back. Uh, hopefully this... Wait, did I really do that much damage that quickly? Huh. Yeah, that's interesting.
Well, I hope I don't mess up this fight. <laughs> I've, I've messed up a lot of the boss fights, but... I mean, I do a lot of damage, so... I won't... I might not have many opportunities to even mess it up. Yeah, that's pretty quick. This fight honestly seems a bit scary, but I'll try my best. Not bad, and again, that's just because of the damage of this build. It's really nice. This place is actually quite scary because of that. Shouldn't be too bad of a fight. an open suffix. I really feel like I have to go for these. And that is a gem cutter's prism. that with monsters and raging. <gasps> I mean, it's the first character. There will be more, but as for this episode, Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next one.